While BiCAD does give you the option to directly input chainstay length, for some, the concern isn't so much exactly how long the chainstays are, but rather how much of a gap is there between the rear wheel and the seat tube. For that, we have the option to control the rear end by rear wheel gap. This has been an option in BiCAD for a long time. However, one deficiency of this option was that it would not take into account bent seat tubes. In BiCAD version 16, this issue has been resolved. BiCAD will correctly set the chainstay length to maintain the minimum specified gap between the rear wheel and the nearest point along the back edge of the bent seat tube and bottom bracket shell.